Sure. Great. Yep. Ah, lovely. Thank you all for coming. Uh, you've done so well. You're still breathing. Big long morning. Now we know what it feels like to be a student. <laughs> Good to see you all here. Um, my name is Dennis Wollersheim. I teach down health information management just kind of straight below this room. And, uh, and you are all here. Why are you here? You are here because you care about students. You know, you don't have to be here. You could be doing your research. You could be you could be doing something. That you actually want to your students to learn something. It's you know, there's a lot of people in, in health sciences, and you're the ones who came. You know, it's a special thing. You've got you've got a couple things. You know, one thing you've got is you've got is you've got hope. You hope that that things can be better. You know, maybe you hope your research will get done someday, uh, and uh, and you'll have some time for that. But it's it's a it's a busy world out there uh, as uh, as capitalism declines, uh, things get more and more efficient, and uh, we get more and more efficient, and we get more. They they figure out ways to extract more work from us. Isn't that a good thing? <laughs> I love it. Um, technology, my my friend, also helps with that too. So that's that's one thing we, we're hopeful. And also, uh, we've got we've got attention. We were able to uh, to take our our attention and focus it, uh, and and uh, and that's what we hope for our students. We hope that our students can. Can take their attention and, and focus it and uh, on the things that it's important, learning and, and stuff like that. Um, the problem with that is that is that we're, as capitalism declines, it we're swamped by choice and and attention is finite. There's only so much attention you've got. You guys were almost at empty this morning. You almost had no attention left. I could see it. I felt it myself. I could barely breathe. You know. Attention is a finite resource. Um, one experiment, uh, this is from a blog I just read the other day. It's called, uh, Your App is Making Me Fat. And, uh, <laughs> and it's, there's a, if you give a, a group of people like, two numbers to memorize, they, um, at the end of the task, they will choose fruit. And if you give people seven numbers to memorize, at the end of the task, they will choose chocolate cake. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm the chocolate cake for one myself. You know. After, if you lose, it's a finite resource, and you spend it, it goes away, and you can't think anymore. You lose your attention. Um, another one, uh, make a dog sit, hold itself, hold its focus to the task. You make a dog sit, and it can only play, it can only persist for, for, one, for, for, for one minute afterwards. If, if you make the, put the dog in a cage and you say you don't, you don't bother giving it that, that task, it can, it can persist for, for more than two minutes, double the attention span. I, sometimes I wish my students had two minutes of attention span. But uh, we use cages. We, yeah, 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 <laughs> damn. Yeah. Um, what's going on? We, you know, I love to blame. Man, I would, I've been blamed so much in my life. I love to blame. I love to blame. Let's blame the victim, you know. So that's what that's what we do. You know, we blame the students. Those students, they're just not as good as they used to be. But that's not true, you know. They're just as good as they used to be. It's just they're in a tighter spot. We blame the victim, and we blame ourselves too. We're the victim as well. We say, oh, I should be able to teach better, you know. But but much more fun is to blame the structure. You know, what's going on? What's going on out in the world that causes this? So. Race is one thing that's going on. This the, the hidden elephant in the room that, that uh, you know, uh, just a few years ago we had a white Australia policy, and and uh, and and now we don't talk about it anymore. It's all gone. But but it's it's there. It's it's on people's mind. It's drawing people's attention. White privilege, busy white lives, you know, busy lives. We model that. We set the pace. You know, that's that's part of 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 why things aren't going quite so well. No time for relationships. No time to to gather our attention to put it on the places that's important. Woo! Exciting. Next. <laughs> uh, gender. Gender. Another another little thing. Um, hierarchical system. You know, how do we get this capitalism? How do we? We've got a we've got a beautiful hierarchical system that that works really well, maximizes profit, male domination, and and you know hierarchies and and. Uh, and class, yeah, really. Why not put all three of them? They say things work better in three, so I thought I'd do it. You know, 
We're a middle class institution. That's the one we live in. But the thing is, the students are no longer middle class. You know, it used to be, I, you know, I wish my students were middle class. I wish my students would, would sit nice and not text during classes and do what we say, but they're not anymore. And, you, and it's kind of like, oh, darn. You know, you've got to live with that. All those things, race, gender, and class, the, the three things, the, the triumvirate. That's why groups don't go so well. You know, people having trouble in your groups, you know, you can look at your group and say, it's, it has to do with race, gender, and class. Almost every problem in our group work is, is that thing. You know, if you can look at it structurally, you've got a much bigger lever than that bad student. But there's great opportunity. Um, hierarchy, you know, advancing capitalism, things are very tight, you know. But what it means is there's no middle managers anymore. There's nobody to check what you're doing. You know, they can't, you know, they can't keep track of everything you do. So, so no, I don't know to go back. But it's, I talked for a while here. Um, control the control about what you do is internalized. You are you are promulgating those middle class values yourself. No one's looking over your shoulder saying, "Do it this way" or "Do it this way." That's you can get away with doing stuff because they, you're not being controlled by outside anymore. Uh, the, the, it, it's, uh, it's no longer the 1950s. The, the class stuff is not so tight. You can, we've just internalized it. And, and race, you know, a beautiful thing about race is that, you know, we live, we are privileged. We have so much privilege. You know, look around this room. We have, we have time to sit and think. You know, we have a strong union. We can, they almost can't fire you. You know, you can do you can do what you want. So that's the thing. That's the opportunity. There's so many uh, there's so many possibilities out there. You know, learn to take back your time to to not do all those things that they tell you to do. Um, you have the privilege. Say no. Learn to do things badly. I, that's something I've learned. Do things badly, and they don't ask you to do it again. <laughs> Because the world is changing. The world, that's the, the other opportunity. I'm a geek, you know, you look at this presentation, I'm a geek. You, we, we teach people like it was 1400. We put them in lectures and we talk to them. The reason that was, was so people could write things down. You know, everyone's got a device in their pocket that's got the world's information on it, and it costs $20. You know, what are we doing? There's so many opportunities out there, things to teach. Clickers, you know, like the in the class, you have instant feedback in classes. Uh, 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 Lester, uh, <laughs> there's heaps of stuff. Anyways, you know, so I don't know what the answer is, but there's a great opportunity. And so my idea is fail fast. You know, try stuff out, see if it works, watch it break, learn from it, and and do it again. So when when uh, when uh, Lee asked me what I you know, what, what, if I'd done anything this year, I thought, oh yeah, I mean, this year I've done three things that I've never done before. Well, not, not never done, but, but, but try it. So peer assessment's one of them. Uh, uh, that's the, uh, using the Moodle, in Moodle workshop, even in Moodle itself, there's a thing for peer assessment. It's the workshop tool. You, you put an assignment online. You say, um, uh, uh, people, people do the assignment. They assess it themselves. Uh, you, you divide up the marks. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all easy to do. So, so peer assessment's easy to do. I do that quite a bit, actually. Uh, um, uh, students, students submit the work and the, and the peers assess it. And you get marks for how well you assess and how consistently your assessment is with everyone else's assessment. And what's the, what's the value in that? The peer assessment means that, that you're publishing for public. You're, you're out there in the world sort of showing off and, uh, and, and, and it lifts your game. Also, you have to read the other students' assignments. You know, not, it's not just one person reads it, but many people read it. Experiment. Learn something every time you teach. Be a model for learning. You know, don't be the, the person who doesn't learn something. Take, take a chance and learn stuff. There's, there's no shortage of ideas. The, the, your head is full of ideas. This room is full of ideas. The internet is in your pocket, and it's full of ideas. Hundreds of thousands of ways to teach. Um, Student-generated content. So like, we've, like uh, Lee's, Lee's, Lee's talked about a few things about that. I had my students write a Wikipedia page this year. It was, a, it was, a, it was an experiment. Uh, we probably won't do it quite that way again. I learned a bunch of things. But, but it was amazing to watch students um, you know, pony up, you know, to, to like, 
oh my God, not just you are going to read this thing, you know? They got very excited about it, and uh, and they talked about it. They talked about it in the halls, you know? When was the last time you had a bunch of students talking about your assignment? Uh, you know, um, fi filing your master's students, and, and, and one of the students created a, a page on the national health record, national electronic health record. Oops. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, national record. And he, he, he did what normal, normal students do. He saw what he could get away with. He put, took a bunch of garbage and put it up online, and the next day somebody deleted it all. And he came into class and he's like, mm -hmm. somebody deleted my whole assignment. And, and, I said, well, and he says, well, because it was garbage, you know. And then he went, because he assessed himself and he, he went back and he made himself a really good article. And he, he, says, he says, every line of that article is referenced now, you know. And uh, he really did a really good job of it, you know. And, and, and it was, you know, just being able to, to push people to work hard. Um, and then the last thing I did this year was, uh, was individual take-home exams. So uh, uh, grab content from the web, slice it up into bits and pieces, and then give every student a different chunk of content and say, and say do something with this content. The, in this case, it was to uh, um, talk about, anyways, it was, it was a complicated health, electronic health records uh, thing. But, uh, yeah, um, so, and then the Moodle, use the Moodle quiz facility to randomly assign the little bits of content. Uh, and, and, then, and then, so it, not only that, every assignment I read is different. Oh, Instead of reading the same thing 40 times, I get to read 40 different assignments, you know, to see people's creativity. So those are, those are some of the things. You know, I'm very happy to talk more about it and, uh, and to listen to what you've got to say. I think, you know, for this to work, we've got to have a, a community of practice. We need people who, who want to do this to get together once a week, once a month, and just say, what's going on? Well, how's it going? You know, uh, I, I, I've talked to a few of these people, and, and, uh, and, and I talked to Lee, but it's, it's nice to talk to other lecturers who are who are thinking about this and, and want to uh, to get away from you know standing up and talking to kind of people? Oh, thanks. Oh, and uh, yes, uh, yeah. And uh, the links are from uh, Creative Commons, uh, so uh, Lee won't get in trouble for putting it on, putting it on the web. But uh, uh, lovely. Thanks. Great. <laughs> thanks a lot.